laws of reflection fix a sheet of white paper firmly on a drawing board draw a straight line pq on the paper sheet place the long edge of a mirror along the line and use plasticine to fix the mirror on the paper so that it stands upright fix two pins a and b vertically in front of the mirror looking from the side q try to locate the images a dash b dash of the two pins and fix two more pins c and d on the paper in front of the mirror so that they are both in line with a dash and b dash mark the position of the pins with a pencil and remove the pins and the mirror join a b and c d and produce them to meet the mirror at point o on the line p q the point o where the two rays a o and d o meet the mirror is known as the point of incidence a o is the incident ray at o draw a perpendicular o n o n is called the normal o d is the reflected rays the angle between the incident ray and the normal is called the angle of incidence that is angle i therefore angle a o n is the angle of incidence the angle between the reflected ray and the normal is called the angle of reflection angle r therefore angle don is the angle of reflection now measure angle aon and angle don with the help of a protractor they will be equal if you change angle i and measure the corresponding angle of reflection angle r you will find that angle i is equal to angle r for every value of angle i this is the first law of reflection you can also notice that the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal all lie in the same plane which is the plane of the paper this is the second law of reflection lateral inversion in a parallel mirror take a white cardboard over it print a letter l place it in front of a mirror the figure below shows how the letter l looks like in a plane mirror image formation in a plane mirror take a white sheet of paper and place a mirror perpendicular to it place a point object o in front of the mirror from point o rays of light will travel in all directions the diagram shows only two rays marked oa and oc which enter the eye after reflection from the mirror the reflected rays ab and cd appear to come from the point i behind the mirror the reflected rays ab and cd appear to come from the point i behind the mirror the i sees the reflection of the point object o at i in the mirror the image appears to be inside the mirror and cannot be obtained on a screen such an image is called a virtual image so all plane mirrors form virtual images the position of the image i can be located by producing the rays ba and dc they meet at the point i if we measure the distance op and ip with a scale we will find that they are equal that is op is equal to ip in other words the distance of the image from the mirror is equal to the distance of the object from it thus the image is as far behind the mirror as the object is in front of it this means that if you stand 1 meter away from a mirror the image is 1 meter behind the mirror If you move back by 1 meter the image also moves back by 1 meter construction of a kaleidoscope materials required 1 three stripes of plane mirror each 20 cm long and 5 cm wide 2 a piece of white chart paper 3 few colored beads or pieces of broken bangles 4 fevicol scissors tapes procedure cut a rectangular piece of paper 25 cm long and 16 cm wide from a white chart paper apply gum on this paper and place the mirror side by side lengthwise keeping a gap of about 3 mm between two consecutive mirrors gently fold the paper to form a triangular tube of mirror with the reflecting surfaces facing each other use the tape to keep the shape fixed 
take a clear or transparent plastic pouch and put some colored beads inside the pouch. Attach this pouch to this end of the tube by using tapes. Cover the other end of the tube with a piece of white chart paper and make a hole in it. Your kaleidoscope is now ready. Look through the hole and rotate the kaleidoscope. You can see beautiful hexagonal patterns.